Hey fellas, in today's session, I'm gonna share with you a secret about avoiding hair loss. You know that male pattern baldness caused by dihydrotestosterone? DHT is not problematic, it's what helps you build muscles. DHT is great, but it can accelerate male pattern baldness. And if you have a familial or genetic predisposition to losing hair, I wanna let you know about this thing that I've been using for quite some time. I'm not being paid by these people whatsoever. It's just, I wanna be honest with you about the stuff that I use. I've talked about DHEA, I've talked to you about vitamin D, uh, electrolytes, creasing, all of that. This is something that I use about three days a week when I'm washing my hair. Now, I'm big on avoiding perfumes and chemicals, and unfortunately, this stuff does have uh, EDTA, sodium lauryl sulfate. Uh, it's got a bunch of chemicals. I, it's got a fragrance in there, but this is like the worst thing that I possibly put on my body. It's only a few days per week, and I strongly believe because ketoconazole helps to neutralize or prevent DHT from damaging the hair follicles, accelerating male pattern baldness. So most pharmacies all throughout the world, when I used to go to Canada a lot for family and for business, they actually have a 2% ketoconazole shampoo. So that's what's unique about Canada in the sense that it's double the potency. But you can actually get this at, like I said, any pharmacist, any pharmacy, and you want to use this if you're worried about losing your hair. Of course, if you're on hormone replacement therapy, if you're taking steroids, you got to get off that stuff or minimize the dose there because that is going to only accelerate the loss of your hair. Um, but you can take topical ketoconazole shampoo and make sure to rub it in the spots. Like for most men, it's going to be right around here is where you're going to lose it first or the back on the crown and let it sit there for a few minutes. And there's pretty good research to show that topically, ketoconazole, it's an antifungal. So that's actually why it's used. It's, this isn't marketed as an anti-hair loss product. It's not like minoxidil, I think is the other one. Um, I found that to not really be effective. And I don't think the literature really supports that to be effective. I think Rogaine is one commercial product. This is a secret. Again, most people don't know about this. I recommend this to anyone that is concerned about male pattern baldness, because again, it can help prevent DHT from binding to that follicle and, and causing the loss of hair. So check it out. Again, it's, it's not the cleanest product in the world. Like I said, um, there's some, some gnarly chemicals uh, in here. There's fragrance, there's cocamide MEA, there's polyquatrium 7. Who knows what the heck that is doing? But you, you take that, a little exposure to that several days a week as opposed to being bald. I think most people do make that trade all day long. So if you're worried about your hairline, and you're not taking ketoconazole shampoo, I think you're missing out. This you know, can slow down the process. And again, you let it sit in your hair, especially on those places where you're gonna lose it, right here in the front and in the back, for about five minutes in the shower, a couple days a week. And if anything, you're slowing down that. Now, you can do a, a topical anastrozole. I believe there's a topical, with a compounding pharmacist, you can get a higher dose of the ketoconazole with a natural DHT blocker. And I, th I think anastrozole is actually the aromatase inhibitor. I'm, I'm, I'm drawing a blank on, on this. Um, but I, I actually worked with a doctor one time. I experimented with this. A friend was like, Hey, yeah, I'll write you a script for this. It was, the, I think it was Propecia topically with ketoconazole. So that's another alternative, but to get that from a compounding pharmacist, it was like a hundred dollars a month. And that was more than I wanted to spend. But if you have a very strong familial link with male pattern baldness, that might be something you work with, an integrative nurse practitioner or a medical doctor that works with a compounding pharmacy, and you can get a, a topical Propecia with a higher potency ketoconazole in a shampoo and rub that in your hair as well. And so that might be a little bit more effective as opposed to taking an oral uh, Propecia, because we know that oral... It's the 5-alpha reductase enzyme that converts testosterone to DHT. That can have irreversible effects and that can lead to erectile dysfunction and problems sexually. So you don't really want to take that orally, even though you want to preserve your hairline. So a little bit topically may uh, affect the hair follicle and help uh, prevent DHT from causing baldness without all the negatives. So anyway, just wanted to share this with you. I think it's effective. It's like $9 at Walgreens and Rite Aid. So check it out if you want to preserve your hairline. Appreciate you tuning all the way in. Thanks for sharing this video. Thanks for hitting the like button and let me know in the comments if you've tried this and what your experience has been. We'll catch you on a future one down the road. Bye now.